Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the weekly contest 340. Uh, minimize the maximum differences of pairs. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. So this one is kind of tricky as well, but I think, um, I think the tricky part about this poem is the greedy aspect of this poem. Um, and the greedy aspect comes from uh, try to figure out a way to binary search, which is the way to solve this problem. So the way to solve this problem is by binary search, right? Um, what, are, what are we binary searching on? Well, the thing that we're binary searching on is by the answer, right? Meaning that, okay, if the, the way I think about it is that you can ask yourself, okay, is the answer 10 or is 10 a good enough answer? If 10 is a good enough answer, then let's try something smaller. So then we can see if, you know, is nine a good answer, right? And so forth, right? Um, this one can be potentially uh, tricky, but uh, what the? But yeah, but that's basically the idea. Um, and uh, yeah, and the core part of this idea is that okay, let's say we have an answer, we have an answer like I don't know twenty, right? How do we tell that um, this that there is a solution that satisfied? satisfied uh this matching thing and p is equal to two right so the idea behind that core part is that um well you know the first thing that we want to do is find some structure in the nums right um the co one observation about this problem is that each uh each number can only be used once right um because each number can only be used once because each number can only be used once, um, the way that you can, so if, if you, uh, this is kind of tough because it is greedy. Sorry, I'm trying to think a way that is a little bit more, you know, better phrasing. Is that given a, 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 a certain number, then it will either match a number to the left or a number to the right. Uh, why is that? Um, let me, and the, the reason is because of the something called the exchange, um, Exchange arguments, sorry. Uh, basically, for example, let's just say you have some, you know, uh, 1, 5, 10, 20, right? So you have four numbers. So let's say you want to make the argument that um, 5 and 20 is the best thing, right? Well, by, by you know, and, and this is the thing that uh, I'm going to do a little bit hand wave, but um, mostly just in the interest of time. But you can actually, you know, easily show that... Um, you can easily show that you know uh, you can you know ten is a better thing for for the five right I think that part is easy but then the, the question is that what if the you know the exchange is this right so you have five ten inside one and twenty well you can also easily show that you know in that case you just match one and five and ten and twenty um, in this way I, I'm not going to it um, I'm not going to enumerate all the cases. But by the way of exchange argument, and and you could do it symbolically, meaning you could like be like, oh, you have x of i, da 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 da. You know, you could do things, and then by 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 uh, by argument of like contradiction, you show that this has to be smaller than that. Uh, I'm not going to do that right here because uh, I, I'm focusing on a problem solving, right? Um, and greedy problems are hard. Um, and then the other thing that you can do, which is what I did kind of in my head during the contest, is just exhaustively going through all the um, cases, right? Like you could be like, okay, what if this and that and, the, you know, and there are not that many combinations where, or, and a lot of them are kind of intuitive, right? Meaning say, for example, let's say you have pair A's and pair B's. You have this, you're like, okay, the exchange argument is very obvious why that works. What do you have something like this? Well, the, the exchange argument is also kind of obvious why, you know, you want to exchange uh, the five and the ten, say, or the, the the pairing, right? So then, like, I think those are the only really two pairs, or the other ones are kind of sym symmetric versions of this. Um, so you know, uh, um, so this is how you do the pairing, and then maybe we want to do a proof for the three three type, meaning uh, because there's uh, odd lengths, you can maybe say like, okay, how do we choose between these two, and you know. And like I said, the exchange argument here is also pretty, I don't know, straightforward and greedy kind of way, right? So basically, given that, 
that's a very long-winded way of saying that if you have it sorted away, for every number, you want a number that's next to it, if it is to be used, right? So that's basically the basis of this uh, binary search is that, okay. And people ask me to explain ranges because sometimes I do hand wave over it. Usually I just choose a really big number. In this case, the maximum solution is going to be 10, uh, 10 to the ninth. So that's big. The max, sorry, the max number or the max possible answer is just going to be the max number. You could even maybe do some thing around like after sorting, take the max delta or something like this. But but that you know it's not even necessary, right? Um, because because um, because with binary search, um, it you know it gets uh, halved every time. Two was it. Uh, 10 to the 9th, it's only like 30 iterations uh, for this binary search, 30, 31, whatever. So that should be uh, good enough. So this is O of log R, where R is the range of numbers. And then target, it's going to be linear, uh, as you can see. So we keep track of the number of quote-unquote good pairs. Good pairs are the pairs that satisfy the, con the condition of um, having two pairs that match under or equal to target. Uh, and that's basically what I did. Um, I look at all the pairs. If this is a, a pair, then we skip this number and then we just go to count plus one. Um, in a greedy kind of way, we always take the earliest two because otherwise you're never going to use that. Because basically the idea behind this greedy, if we have to go over it. So let's say you have ABC. Um, let's say A or B minus A is less than or equal to target and B minus C is you go to target. Um, we're, if, we're, if this is the last time we're using A, then it, in a greedy kind of way to maximize the number of pairs, you always want to take the A because you're never going to see the A again. And taking B, C will only yield a worse answer because in theory, C can match something in the future. Um, and that's basically the, um, the, the idea behind that part of the greedy. A lot of greedy things going on here. Um, and if you find a pair, you iterate by two. Otherwise, just skip one number, count number of pairs. Early termination just for a minor speed bump. Uh, yeah, speed pump, speed bump. And then otherwise, we return whether we have enough pairs. And that's pretty much it. Uh, everything else is standard binary search. Remember, you have to start in the beginning. So this is going to be, and this is O of N. So o of N, uh, o of N. So in total, this is actually O of N log N plus N log R. Right, so time and O of and space because of the sort. Uh, yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, and you could watch me solve a live during contest now. Yolo, maybe we on this one. Okay, I know how to do it. It's just that the formula I was been super super ready for.
and zero. Mm, that's not quite right, is it? Why? Tell me why. Oh, this P is the wall. Silly Larry. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drum me on discord let me know what you think about this problem um the description everything you want in the comments uh that's all i have stay good stay healthy to good mental health i'll see you later and take care bye bye